Welcome to That's Vegetarian. I am your chef and host, Karen Buchalt. Today we are going to make one of the most popular Middle Eastern dips, hummus. We can make it lower in fat than what you can get in most restaurants and stores, and it has very few ingredients. We have garbanzo beans. They're also known as chichi beans and chickpeas. You can get them dry and then soak them overnight and then cook them, or you can use them from a can. We're only going to use a cup. We have lemon juice, fresh is always best. If you're going to use concentrated lemon juice, just make sure you add the right amount of water. We're going to use sesame oil in place of olive oil and tahini. It kind of combines both the flavor of the tahini with the uh, necessary oil that you need. Two cloves of garlic chopped. You don't have to worry about getting it too fine because we will be putting it in a food processor. I like using the smoked paprika as opposed to the sweet paprika. It has just a bit of a different flavor. You can use either one and it is optional as well. We are using cilantro, which is part of the parsley family, but does taste quite different than your traditional flat leaf parsley or curly parsley. And we're going to garnish it off with the sal y pimienta avocado oil. Let's get mixing. What we are going to use is this mini food processor. It was a really great bargain. It came with a stick that has a blender attachment and a whisk attachment, as well as the mini food processor. It's gonna make it much easier. Garbanzo beans are the only beans that you cannot use a potato masher with. You'd either have to use the blender or the food processor or a mortar and pestle. We're definitely not going that route. We're going the food processor route. So now it's just a matter of putting all the ingredients in. With the cilantro, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use scissors to chop it up because we are using the food processor. We don't have to worry about it being exact. I just find the scissors to be a real easy tool as opposed to trying to dice it up on a cutting board. Okay, we've got those in. I'll just put in our beans. Three tablespoons lemon juice, one tablespoon sesame oil, two cloves garlic, and as I said before with the paprika, you can either add it in or you can just use it as a garnish. I like the smoky flavor it gives, so I'm putting it in. Okay. Now. We'll just put the top on, blend away. If we need to add additional liquid, I did save some of the juice when I drained the beans. Just look at how easy that is. Okay, let's look inside. Okay. For me, I prefer it a bit thinner, not so chunky. So I am going to add a couple of teaspoons of the liquid. So that was about two teaspoons. And blend it up again. I much prefer this consistency. So now, all we need to do is plate it up and serve. We've plated our hummus and we surrounded it with fresh vegetables. You can also uh, serve it with pita bread. Before we do serve it, however, we are going to garnish it with our sal y pimienta avocado oil. We'll just drizzle a little over the top. Oh, the green adds a beautiful contrast to the orange and just a little bit more smoked paprika to make it look extra pretty. Now, that's vegetarian. I did that wrong. Mmm. That's it. I've got celery stuck in my too. Mmm. That's